I'm going to be testing out Vapor Dimension. It's a tool that adds movement and width and a bit of delay in space. Essentially, it helps push sounds a little bit wider and make them sound more interesting. So if I go to the website and check out Karani Sounds, we can see that Vapor Dimension is here. The original price is $49 and it's free for a limited time. After that, they will be doing an intro price of $19. I'm not sure how long they'll be doing that for, but you can definitely check the link below to grab that and see if they're still doing that price. So if you're past that point, you can still download that as part of an effects bundle, which has Vapor Dimension, Poly Space, and Techno Color, which I cover in another video, and I'll put a link to that video up in the corner so you can check that out. Okay, let's get started. First, let's take a look at the plugin itself. You might recognize it from another video where I covered a smaller version of this plugin, but this one comes with more features. So I have presets up here. There's 16 different presets to choose from. And then I have an in and out for the input signal and output signal because when we're adding effects, sometimes they need to be a little bit louder or quieter depending on what the processing is actually doing. Then I have some other kind of adjustments here inside of the preset. Uh, so I can add some chorus, some widening, harmonics, different types of things you can add to adjust the sound even further. And then I have three different types of each sound as well as the modulation amount. And last, I have a randomizer so you can randomize the preset. And then I have a dry wet knob at the very end. I'm gonna show you four cool things the plugin can do. The first one is going to be adding some subtle and not so subtle movement and width to the sound. So first I have this just basic sounding pad. It's a nice sounding pad, it's warm, it's full, but I'm gonna add vapor dimension to make it sound even more interesting. Let's try the pad motion preset. And I'm going to bring this to 100% dry wet so we can really hear what's going on. So of course with more modulation and seems like pushing it up to the second and third type inside of this parameter here, it becomes much more obvious and much more modulated. So I wanna add just a subtle flavor to this. I'll turn down the modulation a little bit and bring the dry wet down to less than 50%. And this should just make this pad feel a little bit more interesting. And before. Keep in mind, this isn't gonna be a huge night and day difference. This is just getting a little bit more of that quality out of your sound and a little bit more width and movement. I'm gonna try one that's a little bit more obvious. So I'll choose the flash phase, and this is gonna be much more of a sound design kind of characteristic sound. So by adding a preset like this, that's much more obvious, it's going to be kind of shaping the sound a little bit differently. So it really depends what you want to add to the sound, a bit of subtle width and movement, or something that is gonna shape the sound a little bit more aggressively. The second cool thing that Vapor Invention does is takes things that are in mono and pushes them into a really nice wide stereo sound. If you have maybe an audio sample or a vocal, that's in mono or the synth that you're using is only mono and can't produce in stereo, then you can use a tool like Vapor Dimension to make that into stereo and sound really nice and wide. I have my utility taking the width all the way down to zero. So the sound will be in mono and I can check here with my ozone imager. We can see that it's coming down the center of the mix. Let's turn on Vapor Dimension after the mono and before the imager. So it's taken this mono sound and pushed it into stereo and it sounds really nice. But this is a good time to actually check the mono compatibility of pushing a sound like this from mono to stereo. So I'm gonna actually duplicate over that utility and we're going to check again. And we're gonna make sure that the vapor dimension isn't totally destroying the signal. It sounds to me like we're losing just maybe one or 2% of the original sound. And that can happen when you downmix things that are in stereo into mono, but it definitely doesn't sound like it's completely destroying the sound, which is obviously something we wanna avoid. So I recommend 
always checking in mono, especially when you're mixing in stereo, down mixing to mono at the end of your chain to really make sure that you're not losing a ton of the content in your sounds or in your mix. The third thing is going to be thickening and adding width to things like vocals and lead sounds. I'm gonna use a return track for this so I have more control over the original and the wet signal. So I'm going to take this vocal here. I would walk a million miles. I'm gonna take the return track and put the vapor dimension on. 100% dry wet, and I'm going to push this onto the vocal widener preset, and then I'm going to send that vocal into that return track. I would walk a million miles just to look into your eyes. I'm duplicating the signal into a return track, but only using 100% dry wet of that vapor dimension to add that kind of nice high end width. I would walk a million miles. I would walk a million miles. It's actually thickened up and added a bit of subtle width and movement to the sound, which just makes it sound a little bit more professional. You want to be careful with this because the 100% dry wet doesn't totally sound wet as something like a reverb or a delay might. Let's solo the return track and take a listen. I would walk a million miles. So it has quite a lot of the original signal kind of pushing through. So I've really reduced the output of this because when we're doubling up signals, they do tend to get louder and just added just enough volume that it thickens up the vocal and it makes it sound wider without actually going overboard and making it much louder. Here's what it sounds like if I didn't adjust the output gain. It's thicker and a little bit wider, but it also is much louder. So we just wanted to make sure I let you know so that you can accommodate if you are using this tool. Fourth cool thing that you can do with Vapor Dimension is have one in mono and one in stereo. And this will allow for a really good mono compatibility. Even if your mix gets down mixed to mono, you know for sure you still have a mono signal. And if it is in stereo, you still benefit from the width that the stereo signal can have. So I'm gonna try this on a lead sound this time. I have the same Vapor Dimension on the return track. I'm going to grab this lead sound and start to turn it up. The return track has 100% dry wet, and then the lead is sending to that. Now I can take this lead sound and put it directly in mono. So now the lead is in mono, I turn that return track back on. Now I have the lead both in mono and I have it as well in stereo. And maybe I can take out some of the low end of the return track and just push the high end up a little bit more to be in stereo. And with the original lead. So if my entire mix gets down mixed to mono, I for sure know that I still have a strong signal of that lead. Some of the presets inside Vapor Dimension are a little bit more subtle and some are a little bit more obvious, especially with sounds with a lot of width or movement already going on. This tool might sound a little bit less obvious. So I would suggest trying it out and using it on different sounds that maybe don't have a lot of movement or don't have a lot of width to really benefit from this. I don't think it's a tool that you wanna be putting on things that are already sounding really big because that's kind of the point of the plugin. I think it's a nice tool to add just a little bit of movement and width to your sound. It's one of those plugins that you can use to just squeeze a little bit more quality out of your sounds, which could be great if you're really trying to achieve that top quality production. If you're looking for a plugin that changes the characteristics of a sound that's maybe more atmospheric or reverb oriented, then check out the video right here where I cover another one of Karani Sound's plugins called Polyspace.